We're not going. Come to Janine's house. Yeah. Oh. I don't, I don't know. That's, you, that's, are you that's, implying that's, that Janine had her own separate party? I reckon. I think Ooh. Janine might have. Yeah. Janine she might have. have. Yeah, that's, that's, and her mum probably dressed up as a car crash victim. <laughs> <laughs> so there's probably photos of her mum looking like she's, you know, just or crutches yeah. or whatever it is. But yeah. That's a costume. Or crutches. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, she's bougie. crutches. Yeah. Bougie. Janine's mum is bougie. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And that's what it's. Bring flowers to the mum. Say, hey, are you okay? I heard you had a bad time. Kill her with kindness. Yeah. And you know, if Janine's mum is perfectly fine. And then fuck that workplace. It's what's a retail job. Yeah, go from big W to Target, whatever. <laughs> man, it's, it's a good point. Actually, yeah. yeah, just move department stores. Just move department stores. You'll be fine. You, you'll find new like you'll find new friends in a new workplace. But hopefully, you've got friends outside. Mm. That's All what right. I'm that's really, really hoping for. That's, okay, we're hopeful. For, please, Ron. I think that's fair for Ron. Then let's leave it there for Mr. Burgundy. Yes. And I think Age is going to go next with this one. Now, right. drum roll. This is going to be uh, this is huge right yeah. now. You can call me Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. 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 Very Hell. nice, very nice. Is that what he says? This is fucking. I'm pretty sure he does not say fuck Almost off. certain Freddie tells him to fuck off. And, then, and they go, ah, Freddie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure once he goes like, once he does, does that crazy. He does like the crazy one. And then, they, and then everybody tries to do no, it. No, no, no. At the end, he just goes, all right. Oh, no. he said, oh, fuck, right. fuck, right. fuck off. And everyone's like, oh, fuck this guy. Everyone just leaves Wembley. Everyone in place. has a better rock party. All right, let's go with Freddie then. All right, short and sweet, my question. Let's uh, hear it. I told my teacher I like her. Oh. Ooh. We are both females. I'm 16 and she's 50. Ooh. She said I need therapy. What did she mean by this? <laughs> that, I'm, <laughs> that I'm crazy and need to be put away? Freddie Mercury. Oh, Freddie. Freddie's got a um. Freddie's got a got, no. <laughs> got a bit of a um, bit of a crush. A bit of a crush. I'm trying to think. Is there a movie scenario where this happens? Where there's like a yeah, um, the graduate, uh, the graduate, uh, the graduate. That's exactly right. But mm. she wasn't a teacher. It's just Dustin, her, Hoff- Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman's girlfriend's mum. That's right. Okay. I mean, look, that'll, that'll that, do. Have you ever watched that movie? Is that is that the situation? Yeah, That's that the is the situation. Okay. Yeah, she was a graduate, like she was a student. Yeah. Dustin Hoffman. Damn. All right. Mm. So sixteen and fifty, though. Yeah, sixteen and fifty. That's a big, jump. That's a a big age, age gap, right? And, and not just not just that. Like it's also female with female. Like I'm sure men are men or whatever it is. That's also a very big jump too. Yeah, so you've, you've got the taboo times too. Yeah, there's, yeah. Two, there's two taboos. Yeah, it is 2019, so the taboo for one of them should be disappearing. It's but the, 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 it's the 16 to 15 thank year you, old. Thank you, Age. He's so socially aware of work. That is why we need this guy. Yes, that's it. He pulls yeah. me out from my yeah. arm. I'm, like this. I'm not saying it's taboo. I'm just saying it's like no, 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 no. it's a big jump. No, practically, you're correct. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you. I think. Uh, no, thank you. Thank you. Socially Mr. aware, <laughs> Mister Woke. Uh, no, it would be. It would. I, I imagine that the 16 year old student would have uh, recently had a pretty hard time coming to terms with her sexuality yep. as well. So that's all, all fueling right. the emotion. I right, was saying, girlfriend Dolly Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> We're not giving Dear you Dolly. <laughs> Dear Dolly Doctor. I love my teacher. No, I will say that this must be a hard thing. I wonder if she's admitted this to anyone else of her friendship. That she. Mm-hmm. That she's. she's like, you know. Uh, that's you the know, thing. You reckon she's out? Yeah, she might yeah. be like, you, dude, you know Miss Hester? Like, she's kind of Shh. fucking hot, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, she is banging. I mean, I mean, yeah, like, everyone, no one said anything. I'm just assuming we're keeping it to ourselves, but yeah. she's a piece right there. I mean, yeah, exactly. It, that would have been a very challenging thing. And to come out to your teacher and say, I like you. To say it? To actually to say, say it to, to the teacher. I've it. been attracted to plenty of teachers You've in, never said in, it in my schooling years. No, never. No? I called one of them mum once. I thought it was mum. <laughs> milf. Like, <laughs> excuse me, milf. I mean, mum. <laughs> oh, oh man, this is I so just bad. get confused all the time. Oh, I mean, man. miss. Yeah, miss, miss, please. Wait, was that like a you like? Wait, is it miss or missus? <laughs> asking, for a, no asking for a friend. Yeah. Um. So you would never like do that though, because I mean, there's always like that thing where there's um. I guess people have like there's the teacher that's like oh there's always there's always an attractive the teacher boys, yeah like, she's hot yeah like, she's so hot and it's like eh, is she hot or is she hot because in the, in the yeah. environment fact we're, is we're, Marcus we're and hormonal I went, guys Marcus and I went to an all boys school that's yes. right so, so you, every single female teacher was attractive yeah. they, even they, some they, of the male they, teachers they, with they, long hair were attractive <laughs> they, they all had their cl- yeah, oh yeah don't they you think all... that Mr. Jones looks pretty hot from behind with his ponytail when he flicks his hair back you just forget the mustache just for the second what mustache yeah I uh, must hash him <laughs> um, um, no, I, so that's I, a different scenario I 
I feel like every like female teacher, well, maybe not every female teacher, but most of them would have like like a group of guys that find her attractive, relatively. Yeah, I remember there was one teacher that nobody really found attractive except for <laughs> uh, one of our housemates, uh, Troy, oh. uh, Adrian. You know, okay, and someone else. Okay, like, process <laughs> of elimination. I can work out who it is. Yeah, Great. exactly. And he was just like, oh, man, she's so hot. And then it was like, what do you see in her that we don't? No, nah, man, she's just, she's the hottest woman ever. Uh, what uh, was it about her? Did nothing. He... There was, there was, <laughs> uh, he could not, he could, he just, she's just so natural, you know? Maybe he was being realistic to be like, everyone else is looking at, you know, so like, who could I get? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most realistic option here? There was a, an, an attractive, relatively young female teacher at our school that had a MySpace page made for her by students oh, without her permission. This, really? this was after we left them pretty sure. Nah, sh- we were at school still. Maybe you're 11 or 12. Did you make it? He was a no, moderator. But, but <laughs> I did give the thumbs up. She, she was very attractive. I had her in year eight. She's not. Beg to be in the top friends. Can you put me in yeah. the top eight, please? Because please. I'm a top eight fan of her. Wait, did she find out about this? Yeah, yeah she, she did. And it was a whole big drama at school. Really? So yeah. what happened? Yeah. Like, oh, I, I, thought, I thought this happened after we left. Nope. No. no. We were well, there. I was out we of the there. loop. I was out Maybe uh, age was moonshining as like a, a student after you guys graduated. <laughs> he still showed up for a year so he could see her. Yeah. They all questioned my age because of my mustache. <laughs> Your mustache. Yeah. Mustache is amazing. So, what did they do to her? Like, or like, did they do to she the She found out about it. She was very upset. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Had the page taken down uh, and the students, I assume, just had a stern talking to. I can't imagine that they would have been suspended or Suspension, anything like yeah. that. No, no, I mean, it's, it's pretty harmless. But I mean, for a young female teacher in an all male school, yeah. it would be tough. It'd be that tough. Be, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, 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 if I was a young female, it I would definitely be. not go to an all boys school. <laughs> yeah, because it's, no matter what, you're gonna get that. It's it's young teenage pubescent boys who are just like, yeah, they're all they wild. all hormones are running right at that stage. It's true. Mm. Must have been tough, boys. I don't know what it was like. I had a co-ed school. Yeah, and everybody just got along and mm. hey, we got along. Hey, I'm just saying, like though, the, the the difference was there were girls at our school and everything. Yeah, but everyone hated each other. Like <laughs> the girls weren't interested in the guys. They lost interest by about year eight. They're just like, ah, uh, yeah. I know everyone here. They're all terrible. They're all douchebags. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go like source out outsource my um, relationships to people that did, aren't. Did, did, speaking from a co-ed school, did most like girls? Do you, you're saying most girls would have fine relationships outside? I of? would say so. I reckon by about year nine. Were there many like couples like throughout high school? There were couples throughout the high school and stuff, but there were those girls that were just like, oh, she's got a boyfriend. Yeah, like, she goes 16. to another school. You don't know yeah. him, alright? Don't worry, he's really <laughs> mysterious. Okay, <laughs> or like the girls like she's got a boyfriend and he's 18 and she's 16. You're like. Jesus Christ! He's got this a car. Man, that's it. We can't compete with him. <laughs> he's he's got, he has a mustache. Yeah, right. Oh my God! He's allowed to grow his yeah. mustache. I'm pretty sure she's dating Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> but like that's but that's the thing. Like there was that sort of side of things where the girls was stopped being interested in the guys, yeah. and the guys were just sort of like yeah. interested in playing grab ass with each other. <laughs> Like yeah. just like let's just play soccer. Let's just do this. Let's play table tennis. Let's just play foosball. Yeah. I don't think they were really concerned about the girls. Yeah, which oh, is just oh, being a teenage boy was, must have been so much better I, than I, being I, a girl. I was a teenage boy as well, dude. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, mean I know you got the wokeness, but don't act like you have the maleness over me. I'm still a male. I, I do have hair on my chest. Thank you very it's much. There. It's there. Okay, so this person here, yeah. they've tried to confront them. Uh, old lady, yeah. Miss Hester. Yeah. She was an art teacher at my school, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Who I assume was attractive. No, she wasn't. <laughs> Imagine a woman with a bird's nest on her head. Oh my god, yeah. Um, I, I feel bad for naming it now. Maybe, maybe I'll bleep her. I'll see <laughs> She's listening. <laughs> She's listening. Oh my god, Tom. I like you. <laughs> you were never good at year eight art. Um, so she like, didn't she, ghost you with like the pottery. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, no. She, she should have no, tried that. No. But like, so she's knocked her back, said that she needs therapy. Yeah. Okay. Um, Freddie's asked, what does that mean? What does that mean? I, I can tell you what that means, Freddie. As, a, as an older person, like I'm sure as a 50-year-old, she's probably in a steady relationship, whatever it is. If a, teen, if a child says that to her, she's like, oh, man, I, I don't need to know that. I don't yeah, know. That's what it is. That's just what like, it is. Like, yeah, I, I need. Th- that's her way of joking. Like, oh, yeah. now I need therapy. <laughs> right. Like, I think it's almost mm, insulting in a way to say that, though. It is insulting. I mean, yeah, it's a bit insensitive bit. to say it. Let's there say. might have been a better way to handle it by the teacher. Yeah. 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 I think mm-hmm. that's fair enough. I, but, I, I, think, I think your chances are blown. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Freddie? Well, it's not, well, Freddie Mercury could still make a MySpace page for her. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, well, he could. Is that, is that a healthy option, though, for Freddie? <laughs> no. Like, I'm going to, like, I'll carve her name into my chest. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll get a t- that way she'll love me. Yeah, that way. <laughs> then she'll love me. Then I will be loved. Yeah, like, that's yeah. the thing. I guess it's one of those, like, I mean, this situation, it seems like 
The teacher's not... Interesting. Not gonna, yeah, not they made it clear to you that... Not going to happen. Not going to happen. It was a little insulting, but I don't think you need to look into it a too much. A bit insensitive, I feel like. I'm hoping yeah. that, that, that she hasn't said anything to anyone else either, because yeah. I'm, I'm not sure how other people will handle that. Yeah. You I never think... know what happens behind that staff room door. Oh, that's true. Teachers <laughs> talk. <laughs> Teachers do talk. Oh, can, you ma- can you imagine... Can you... Oh, fucking Freddy said he's fucking in Freddy. love with me. Oh, my God. I can't even get my words out. Like, oh, my God, Freddy. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I think what you need to do, Freddy, is possibly... Don't worry about the older women. Yeah. Maybe look at women your own age and females your own age. Yeah, I mean... Like I mean, they, when you're just exploring this new... Oh, I'm assuming, presuming it's a new sort of found uh, sexuality. I feel like you and I are not woke enough to be explaining this, but yeah. uh, Age is sitting there just like watching <laughs> yeah. us struggle. Yeah, he's That's watching right. us, just, watching just, us just, flounder. Freddie, it's going to be a lot better when you leave school. Yeah, there you go. exactly. Th- things are going to become a lot easier. Yeah, exactly. Mr. So. Woke over there, mm-hmm. he's got it covered. Yeah. <laughs> Stay woke. Yeah. <laughs> Find yourself, work it all out. I'm sure think, you'll be okay. I think, Freddie, you'll be, you'll be A-okay. Okay, before hey, we go into that question. Yes. Hey, okay. <laughs> Before you go to that question, <laughs> we're going to run a quick um, ad. So we'll be right back after this. Hey, Tom and Damo, hit me up with some words starting with S. Uh, stylish. Sexy. Succulent. Special. Sophisticated. Oh, thank you very much, guys. <laughs> now, a word from our sponsor using all the words you guys have just given me. Studio are specialists in producing stylish Scandinavian headphones with studio quality. Whether you're living la vida loca or living la vida lazy, their headphones are a perfect companion to your sound and style. Believe it or not, I went to the gym the other day with the sexy Tolv pair on. And thanks to the succulent, sophisticated, sophisticated sounds of the Tolv, my workouts are now free of hearing gross grunting guys pumping iron. The only pumping I hear now is the pumping of the tunes on my headphones. I like the sound of guys pumping iron though. (laughs) Right now, our listeners are able to get a special 15% off by going to studio.com and using the promo code QUESTION. That's Q-U-E-S-T-I-O-N at checkout. That's QUESTION at checkout to receive 15% off. And that's not all. Studio are sweetening the deal. Did you get that? We got it. We got it. All right, all right. So they're sweetening the deal even more with free shipping Australia wide. That's right. You heard me. And if you didn't, that means you probably need a new pair of headphones. So visit studio.com and grab your pair today. All right, Marcus, you've got a question now. All right, I've got a question. This one's going to come from Charlie Chaplin. Ooh. Oh, okay. Charlie Chaplin? Yeah, yeah right. The, he the was Chaplin the, mustache. He, he, had, he had the Hitler before Hitler. He had the Hitler before Hitler. <laughs> okay, but explain that. Try to go trick-or-treating as yeah. Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> well, you just got to have the bald hat. And if you don't? And if you don't, then you're Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, you look a little Hitler. Where's your Nazi symbol? Oh, I lost my hat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. I promise I'm Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Maybe don't role-play genocide. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do some slapstick humor so you understand. Yeah. Okay, Charlie Chaplin. All right, Charlie. He writes in. Is it rude to ask someone where their scars come from? Mm-hmm. I asked a girl about the scars on her arm. Ooh. In brackets, he told her where they were from, self-harm. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Know. <laughs> Jesus. And it just seems kind of forward. Is this thing considered rude? Hmm. Charlie Chaplin. I mean, it's maybe, not a simple one. Maybe she could have been like a gardener or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that's, that's how you could get scars. You could get scars on your own hand that way. I, I've, or arm, I, I mean. But yeah, yeah anyway, she, she actually said, flat out said it was self-harm. And they've moved on, but he, now he feels rude about it. Charlie feels Ooh. rude. You want the uh, you want the stay woke opinion stay on this one? Stay woke. Yeah, <laughs> stay woke. Yeah. Uh, well, I think that uh, talking about it is a good thing, and you oh, should be able to ask. Fucking hell, this guy's so good. He man. knows. He's he so knows. good. I, 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 he needs to be out in the open talk about your mental health. Yes, I had a hard time all those years ago. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's but I'm good. doing a lot better now. Yeah, that's, that's a very very good. I don't think Damien would have hit that though. <laughs> <laughs> Damien would have hit that out of the park. Hover, hover, hover. Damien would be sweating right now. <laughs> Damien's like, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming back. It's a very idealistic uh, approach though. Of course, I don't think of that that's too, too, uh, too I don't practical. think it's rude to ask where scars have come from because A, if the person feels it's too personal, yep. they can just say, oh no, don't worry about that. Okay. And then you leave it. This is a person that he knows though, right? Yes. See, like for instance, I saw a girl at an office works. I, was, yeah. I went to an office works and like she was taking my money and stuff. Yep. And like she, yeah, she had some scars on her head, on her, arm, on her wrist, wrist yeah. or her arms and stuff like that. And it really, like, it really did upset me. Yeah. Like a lot, and I, I feel bad for them. But there, there is like Wake Boy said, there's yeah. a bit of a taboo <laughs> on talking about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. But I'm not exactly going to talk to the office works girl and say like, yeah, hey, it's okay. I think it is rude to ask someone <laughs> where their scars where come from. from I, office works girl. So I, I mean, it is something that's like it is tough to mention, and mm. it's almost. 
just like me personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to bring that up. It might be something that's a dark, a dark yeah. pass for them, and you know they that's, might be that's, feeling better. That's those sort of scars, especially on the wrist. You sort of know where they're going to come from, like for the most part. Mm-hmm. What about other scars, like your yeah, face scars or something oh, like Tyrion that? Tyrion Lannister. Yeah, yeah I mean, exactly. Any other scar, I feel like it's it's okay. To it's ask. pretty great. It's, it's like it's like yeah, I want to hear the six. I want to hear the metal sword, man. If I had like three like 